are you looking for the solution to the other questions in this paper then please check the link in the description below the video description this question is on bearings a scientist invented two robots for display in a competition the first robot picks a parcel from a point x on a bearing of 350 degrees to deliver at point y a distance of 8.5 meters the second robot picks another parcel from x on a bearing of 75 degrees to deliver at point z a distance of 5.6 meters illustrate the information in a diagram so let's illustrate the information so we have point x here and it, it moves on a bearing of 350 degrees to point y then another robot from point x moves on a bearing of 75 degrees to point z so the delivery point is yz and the distance between them is yz so remember that this bearing here was 350 so the angle that is left over here will be 10 10 degrees then also the bearing here is 75 so the angle angle y is x z is 85 degrees 10 plus 75 is 85 degrees you can see that that angle is not 90 degrees so we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find y z but we can use the cosine rule which says that if you have a square to be equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a where a is the angle opposite the side a so if this is a and this is b and this is c then we are going to get a which is yz to be equal to b squared which is 8.5 squared and then was 5.6 squared minus 2 times 8.5 times 5.6 cos of the angle opposite the side A which is the angle here 85 degrees so A squared will be equal to 72.25 plus 31.36 minus now all of this will give us 95.2 times 0 0.0872 to four decimal places so when we simplify this we are getting 103.61 minus 8.3944 so a squared will be equal to 95.30856 so it will be equal to square root of 95.30856 which is equal to 9.76 to two decimal places 9.76 meters 9.76 meters now what do we do next we are to so the distance between the two robots at their points of delivery is 9.76 meters now the next thing we are going to do is to find the bearing of y from z so to do that we know that this angle here is 85 degrees we need to find angle y z x which is the angle marked here and we can use the sign rule so for now we have this to be 9.8 meters to one decimal place so using the sine rule 
we know that sine of the angle here let me call it uh, theta sine of this angle theta over we have the side opposite that angle is 8.5 meters it will be equal to 9.8 it will be equal to sine of the angle which is the known angle here 85 degrees over 9.8 so that is the sine rule for you sine a over a is equal to sine b over b or sine c over c so that is what we are using here so we have to evaluate this and we know sine theta will be equal to sine 85 degrees times 8.5 over 9.8 and when we evaluate that we are getting 0 0.0.8 0 0.8640 so theta will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.8640 which is giving us um, it is giving us Fifty nine point seven seven fifty nine point seven seven degrees to two decimal places or approximately sixty degrees. So we got the angle here to be approximately sixty degrees. So we can find the bearing of Y from Z. So that bearing we measure it from this point till we meet this line here. So, we know this is supposed to be 25, the angle here is supposed to be 20, uh, 15, it's supposed to be 15 because 15 plus 75 will give you 90, because this angle here is 75. So, it means that the small angle here is 15 degrees because alternate angles are equal. So, if this 15 degrees, it tells us that the small angle over here the angle over here if this is 15 then this one over here will be 45 so we know that from this point to this point is 90 then we have 180 then we have 270 so we add 270 we add uh, 270 to the 45 degrees here to get the bearing so the bearing of y from z will be equal to so this is the i i part will be equal to bearing of y from z will be equal to 270 plus 45 degrees and that will be equal to 315 degrees to the nearest degree